<laughs> Helps if you unmute it. Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It is episode 7, and we're continuing our playthrough of Illusion of Gaia. We got through some of the, the noobish starting points. We've got our first alternate form, Frieden. And we found out that there's all sorts of other interesting stuff to... Um, sorry, something weird just flashed up on my screen <laughs> off to the side there. Um, and we've got all sorts of other good fun stuff that, uh, that happened, despite the power outage. Well, okay, so some of last week got streamed on Thursday, like normal. And the rest of it happened on Sunday because we, we had a power outage. Hopefully that's not going to happen this time around. So uh, this is where I'd like to remind you, if you haven't already, follow on Twitch. That way you'll know when I go live if I ever have to do something like that again. And, and uh, subscribe on YouTube. That way you'll get the content as it goes out because it did all eventually get released. Now, let's uh, start our journey. And this... Yeah, we should be uh, picking up where we left off at the Atori Village. Um, we we had a fun time dashing around, learning some new stuff. We're over in our dark space. And, um, yeah, we just got, like, one more place to, to check on before we head over to the next, uh, the next area. So, yeah, no, hit, no more hidden stuff over here. Uh, he's going to talk to us about running and jumping, which is wonderful if your goal is to get to the other side, much like the chicken. And this house was the last place we needed to go. Hello, Lily. Before I talk to either one of you, because one of you two starts the next quest, and I can't remember who, let's talk to Grandma and Grandpa over here. There's an old legend in this village. A child with a good heart who controls the dark power will set out to save the world. Hmm. At that time, a huge comet will enter Earth's orbit, and a dark power will arise. These are the words of the Atori legend. Or the plot of a game. Just, you know, say it. How is the Elder? When you fought the demon at Edward Castle, did you find a shiny silver stone? There's a strange power in that stone. Even if defeated by an enemy, if you have 100 of them, you will live again. Oh, good. Because uh, right now I've only picked up 82. <laughs> I could use a little more. It's a great village. The breeze is refreshing. What? What? Moon tribe? I know. Not a tribe. More like a strange shadow form. A high mountain peak near here has become their home. Shall we go? Oh, good. Uh, I forgot that I gave you an option to uh, either go or not go, as the case may be. So, uh, why, yes, let's go. Okay, I'll lead. I'm going too. I want to see the moon tribe. Since I escaped the confinement of the castle, I want to see and hear everything. No, it's too dangerous for a princess. If you don't want to bother Will, just wait here quietly. Hmm. Why do I feel like I'm in the middle of something I really don't want to be in the middle of? Can, can I stand over there? Is there a safe distance out of this? I seem to be the only one left out. So I'll talk to Grandma Lola. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's sulking. It's good medicine for a selfish girl. Wait, what? Never mind. Don't think too hard about it. The mountain pass will be difficult, but let's do the best we can. So Will and Lily go to the peak where the moon tribe lives. And we do our fun little Indiana Jones-esque map walk. It's a lot easier than walking across the map in Skyrim. <laughs> Home of the Moon Tribe. Oh. Uh, oh, I missed the stupid dialogue. I keep hitting the button too fast. Alright, so we got that door there. 
strange voice. Good evening. Out for a stroll? Who is it? Up, up. This body is lighter than air. What are you? <laughs> Guess who? Hmm, Cotton Candy's relative? Birdman. Old man's ghost. Eh, let's do that. Wrong! Actually, we are the Moon Tribe, also known as Shadows. Only the Shadow knows. <laughs> um, oh, that's not disturbing at all. We've transcended time and have lived long. We saw the destruction of the Incan Empire. The Incan statue sleeps in the cave below. If you like, we'll give it to you. At any rate, go look in the cave. Coo, coo, coo. Yeah, okay. Wherever there's light, there are shadows. We who were changed by being bathed in the light only once will spread our or will will spend our future in a world without light. Mm, okay. It comes once every eight hundred years. This is the fourth time. The more light that reaches you, the stronger the dark power. What will be born of the light this time? Okay. One of my party has been kidnapped. Know your destination? Yes. Maybe someone's chasing you. The comet is a vehicle of destruction whose evil light has changed all creatures. It's a remnant of a weapon from a terrible battle long ago. The world will be unbearable? Uh, I hate to break it to you, Will. The world is unbearable. Yes, you're bright, but you're still immature. Thank you for that. I love taking that sort of advice from a ghost. Okay. Um, so the only thing we should be able to... The only thing we got to worry about getting out of here is the Incan Statue B. Uh, if I can remember which button was it. Oh. There we go. Uh, so if I remember right, yeah, there we go. We got Inca Statue A, statue shaped like a spirit. I mean, I guess if you squint and look kind of funny. All right. Um, and we should be picking up Statue B for the next phase of our uh, endeavor. And all we need to do is kill six caterpillars. Okay, you'll wait here. You followed me around for... Okay. This is the final shape of those touched by the comet's light. They are horrible creatures whose hearts are filled with hatred and destruction. If you can destroy them within 20 seconds, I'll give you the Incan statue. Okay. Hi. I didn't. And you... You did what? Okay. So that went badly. I need to get all six of them real quick. Let's try this again. This time maybe without accidentally dismissing... Uh, Did I get it? Nope. Can I telekinesis it anyway? Nope. <sighs> Bother. These are the kind of silly games that, that I, I... I hate them. I hate them with a passion. Alright. 
Yada yada yada. <sighs> Y'all wouldn't happen to have a portal into the dark space so I could heal up, would you? No? Ah, uh, and you won't let me go back. Fine. That's fine. Sure. Yada, yada, yada. Okay. Because the idea is, I want to get these guys lined up, so that way I can try to hit more than one at a time. Come on! For serious! Well, at least I picked up a life out of it. That doesn't seem to be working any better. Yeah, that takes too long to charge up, so... I guess we're not going to use the dash. Keep taking more hits, too. That's not... that's not helping things. Alright. Yada yada yada. Back to the light. There we go. Now we're starting to get more of them in one shot. There we go. Hey, good boy. Then I'll give you the Incan statue. How about give me some hit points back, too? Not too much to ask. Can I telekinesis it anyway? No? Okay. Yay! You've got Incan statue B. B. Be nice. Okay. So far, so good, all right? So now we're back to the home of the Moon Tribe, and... All right. Oh, that statue! You are great, eventually. <clears throat> there are two statues. Go to the Incan Ruins? Yes. Yes, my father summoned me. You know this in your heart, Luke. Oh wait, no, wrong franchise. I don't want to fight the demons, but if my father's alive, I'll risk anything to see him. You don't really understand until you lose your parents. Typical. I understand. Let's go to the runes. They headed to the Incan runes. I'm glad the game told me, because I'd have never known. I'd just, you know, arrived at the Incan runes and been wondering, you know, what happened there. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Little, little, little tired and a little more grumbly than normal. Uh, it, it, yeah, I guess that's showing through. <clears throat> Let's go to Inca, where the Inca ruins are. I keep saying Incan, because that's what it's kind of sort of modeled after. So we are at the Inca ruins. And here we are at the entrance. Here's the entrance to the ruins. They say that this is where the puzzle of the Incan legend is hidden. I heard this story from the Elder when I was a child. After being invaded, the Incas decided to leave their native land to find a new world. They secretly built a huge ship and filled it with priceless gold artifacts. But there's no record of the ship leaving. That's probably the Incan gold ship in the story. I don't think the Elder has ever told that story to any outsider. But I have. Oh, wait, no. Um, I wonder what he wants you to do. Um, you're just going to keep following me like that? Okay. Actually, I, I really... Oh. You're so mean, leaving me behind. How could you do that? Sorry, didn't want to forget about my coffee this time. I'd like to enjoy it while it's still warm. 
You're so mean, leaving me behind. How could you do that? Easy. Why are you in a place like this? It's dangerous. Lola told me about this place. I've been waiting. I thought you'd left me. You should tell me where you're going. Never mind. Not going there. What is Will looking for in these runes? I can't just wait around and eat while Will is working so hard. I am waiting here for Will to return. Wait, you can't wait, but you're waiting here? Well, a princess wouldn't understand. I'll wait for you here. Okay? Doesn't sound like I have a choice. Will, I remember what the Elder said. Put the statue on the Lorelei... Lorelei? Larai? Larai. Cliff below the runes, where the spirit's breath cannot reach. The valley wind will lead you to the gold ship. I still wouldn't mind a place to, you know, I don't know, heal up. Uh, you know, I've gotten spoiled by having all that sort of stuff right there on hand. Um, and I mean, I do have two of the herbs, so... Almost want to have one equipped and ready. Just in case. Alright. Actually, you know what? Alright. On the off chance, it seems like a better idea. Let me go ahead and go to save state. And I'll save that in slot one. Just to, just to make sure. <clears throat> Uh-oh. There was an ominous music. And there was a tremendous wind at the Lorelei Cliff. That's probably what the old man meant by the breath of the spirits. This is the cliff with no wind. My heart beats fast. Glad you narrated that. And we got 15 enemies that we have to find somewhere. And, oh yes, that's right. We do have a red jewel. Will we find it? find out in a little bit later <laughs> this seems like a good I, I know you normally get a few more minutes but uh this seems like the, probably the best place to cut it right now so thank you for joining along so far if you are watching live on twitch hang tight there are five more episodes to come uh this is me live streaming the recording of the episodes that get posted to uh to youtube so uh hang tight just a little bit longer and uh no matter what whether you're watching on twitch or youtube there's a few ways you can help out follow on twitch if you haven't already that way you'll be notified when i go live i stream almost every tuesday and thursday at 6 p.m u.s eastern and i may do the odd extra stream when time allows just depending on what's going on if you follow you'll always know when i go live and if you haven't already, subscribe to YouTube. That way you'll know when new episodes, live stream archives, and various other bits get posted. You've heard all this before, so I'm not going to go belaboring things about lakes and bells and all that other good fun stuff. And if you got feedback, don't forget to leave it in the comments, too. And if you can, support the show. I'm pretty much running this whole thing out of my back pocket. So if you're enjoying the content and getting value out of it, then consider giving, going to live.anonjunior.com and giving a little value back. This, this is a strict value for value proposition. So if you are getting entertainment, knowledge, enjoyment, some sort of value out of the show, consider giving a little back at live.anonjunior.com, even if it's enough for just, you know, another fresh cup of coffee. So live folks, give me a minute to prep the next episode. YouTube folks, I'll see you.